Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. Uh, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the terrain uh, tool or terrain object. Now this one looks uh, or works like loft. It's not exactly like loft but uh, we have a different twist uh, in the command and I want to show this to you. This is used for building up terrains of course as the name suggests. Uh, if you have some ISOEPS uh, lines uh, from AutoCAD or whatever, you can import them into uh, 3ds Max and work uh, with those. Uh, but for this lesson, I'm going to create my own ISOEPS lines. To do that, I'm going to go to Create Shapes Splines Line. Uh, I'm going to hit T to go to the top view and let's create a hill, a basic hill. This is the lowest ISOEPS uh, curve or line or spline, whatever. Uh, if I hit one, I can go to the uh, vertex uh, sub object mode and change the type of these vertices. But for now, you don't need to do this, but I want them to be equal or uh, yours and mine should be equal uh, to get the same result. Uh, but it, as I told you, it's not necessary. If whatever the base spline is, it will work. You can also convert this to smooth and this will work just fine as well. Okay. I'm going to leave them at uh, vertices, uh, corners, sorry. With corners you get less meshes, less uh, detail, so it could work faster, so you could also go with uh, corners as well. Okay, so let's create uh, some other uh, isoips lines. Le uh, let's create one, a, a peak in here. Another one in here. Okay, and uh, let's make this peak a little bit higher. And also a final peak point in here. Okay, let's say we, we have a hill and these are our uh, isoips lines and we want to build a terrain from these. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to set the heights of these splines. Let's say uh, our isoips line step is 10 meters, for example, and uh, then I can just leave this at zero, move this to 10. Uh, maybe it should be a little higher, let's say 50. Uh, I, I haven't drawn this with uh, dimensions, so it's a little bit a small <laughs> uh, hill, I guess. But whatever, uh, for now, let's just leave it like this. And I want to put this to 100. The, I've increased the step to 50 uh, centimeters. Uh, of course, let's make them make these a little bit bigger, larger. Uh, it should make more sense, I guess. Uh, let's create this hill. Uh, 100 meters by 100 meters, okay? To do that, I'm going to just input 10,000 centimeters by 10,000 centimeters. I, I'm creating this uh, base rectangle. Then I can just scale these up to fit this reference, okay? Now I can move this uh, with more realistic uh, dimensions. Now I want to move this up. Uh, actually, sorry, I... Before I scale this, I want to move this to the origin. That way it will be a little bit easier. Let's scale this up again. Okay, now let's get rid of the rectangle and then let's move these up. Now I want to move this up. Uh, let's see. A thousand centimeters, which is 10 meters, I guess. Again, for this as well. This should move up 2,000 centimeters and this should move up 3,000 centimeters. Okay, this way we have some isoips lines uh, of our own. As I told you, you could make these uh, smooth corners as well. It would work just fine and you will see the result in a minute now. I'm going to go to create uh, geometry, compound objects. And then in here, uh, when I select this base isoips line, I have the terrain command enabled or terrain object enabled in here. I can just choose this. Now I want to add some operands to this. Let's click on pick operands and click on this operand or this spline. This one, this one, and this one. As you can see, it's a little bit different than loft because loft uh, would um, put the objects in a path and in order. Now we have, uh, we can have two different peaks in here, as you can see, okay? Uh, this is what Terrain does. It's uh, really cool, actually. Okay, it uh, matches or 
joins the splines with the nearest spline with some triangle meshes and it creates you it gives you this mountain like or peak like or hill like uh, shapes okay so it's very cool uh, I use this one a lot while creating uh, terrains uh, one suggestion for you is you can use turbo smooth with this let's apply a turbo smooth modifier on top and see what happens like let's actually create a copy of this right okay you can see that we have smoother meshes or edges okay and also let's go back to uh, the terrain and try to play with these operands in here I can just go to the operands and I can just yeah move them around as you can see I can just change the shape of the hill and this is very cool because you can see that we instantly we have different geometries different shapes uh, if I'm using this to create a scene for example I can just instantly play with the end result and try to create more interesting shapes for our scenes to look more interesting right uh, this is very cool in my opinion so you can choose different operands and play with them it's very cool I really like this live preview thing it helps me a lot to create uh, interesting shapes you can also see the turbo smooth result let's uh, smooth this a little bit more and you can see that if you click on this show end result you can see the end result as well okay which is very cool okay so this is uh, as you can see this is a very interesting command you can create very interesting shapes with this I hope uh, you found this useful okay uh, thanks for listening if you find this useful please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button uh, thanks for listening see you in the next lesson